broken heart. <laughs> lumbago. It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed Charles. Of, by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Not Charles. Saying the nay. Come on, let's get off. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Why didn't you put your hat on, Uncle? You look ridiculous. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the saloons. Of course. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? <laughs> You ain't slick, unk. You ain't slick, Charles. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. Nope. Sorry, mister. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. That was weird, the way he just answered that. I think that's a setup. <clears throat> that is a setup, if I ever saw one. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace. And oh, maybe it's not. Okay. That first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. Oh, still love a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Excuse me, I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies you know what? And gentlemen, I've seen him in better condition. I'll bet against him. Treat for you. An epic I know what I'm doing. Between the descendants of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an engine Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. 
everything else goes. It's just crazy how good the voice acting is for every character in this game, even like just some little random side character like this dude. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Pretendies Micah. I thought he was throwing the fights on purpose. Damn, I should have bet on Charles. Damn, man. I just lost a lot of money. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Next time. Been a friend, mister. Sure. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you. I thought he was gonna throw. That's why I bet against him. <laughs> Have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I was just trying to be smart. That's why I don't gamble, guys. Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. Pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. Rip Arthur. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a oh, word. Huh. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Damn, they picked up Strauss and he didn't rat? All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that may... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh, man. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> this thing sucks. Oops. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, yeah. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge. We're going out of town. West. Hold on. 
Oops. Always a wagon chase. It's crazy because Red Dead, I feel like the gameplay and some of the missions and everything can be very repetitive, but somehow it doesn't get boring. It's really weird. Like it always ends up in a freaking wagon chase or something, but somehow it's just like you're never, you never find yourself saying, God, I'm so tired of doing this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, that guy just got crushed. It's very strange. I've never ha I've never played a game that that has been like this long and this repetitive in some ways and not gotten tired of it. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me Just shoot in a house I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dumb. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. <laughs> this just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. <laughs> no woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. That house would be like $375,000 in today's market. That is just not how that works, but okay. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. <laughs> You're a good girl now. How did I get a bronze for that? What could I have done differently? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Yeah. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? T murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed. By a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. 
I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. <laughs> yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. I still haven't named my horse. I'm still in so much pain from Gregory, you know? That's nah, not mine. I don't know, man. I just I'm not feeling it. Let's go, girl. I think it's that one. Yes, Callaway? Yeah, it's the Callaway. And then saw it off. Yeah, that's the loadout, guys. That's the meta meta loadout for Rebirth Island. Sorry. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? <clears throat> well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. I always liked Charles. You send in my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, John. I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No, you'd think he's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. No, oh, what, what do you have? What, what do you have in your loadout right now? That is not what I told you to carry, John. That is what I told you to carry. Listen to me. Okay, we're good. Between here and that town, they'll be there somewhere. Where's the frickin' Ah, oh, there we go. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? 
Come on. Let's go follow him. Okay. Looks Missy. like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Some real cowboy shit right here, brother. I have dead eye. I could just get rid of him immediately. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. Come on, get over here. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Um, Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Y'all know what it is with me, Vida. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll scatter right away. I'm going over here. Okay. Why would I mean I suck, I suck, I suck. Oh no. We did not I didn't think that one through. Oh God. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. How is that not a headshot? It's crazy. How come there's ended up being so many of them, bro? I was not prepared for this. was not prepared for this at all. Let me eat my, my can of canned salmon real quick. Put a dip in. I'm ready to go, brother. Shane mine. Oh, I suck, I suck. My controller is literally on its last leg, I think. Will you stop crouching, John? There's no way they had this many, dude. That's crazy. We need our horses. Bro's just hanging out down here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did he just say I'm a shit down your th dude? Like, don't threaten me with a good time. Little do you know, I am a freak, brother. Oh my god, I ain't even gonna try to shoot at these fools. Oh, 
why there's so many. Hey, first thing you hear after tuning in, welcome to the show, AA. Hey, hey, welcome to the show. I need to relieve myself. There me too, brother. Me too. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. <laughs> I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me. Then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. <laughs> let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> that back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. Watch your mouth. Damn. Brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Uh, bastard! Just put him on the bed. <laughs> We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. It's yeah, all yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? <laughs> it's just it was him, him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh. You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right. Well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town, or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. You dick. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? We just, oh, okay. It's like D.R. Horton, Each dude. Each one is entirely <laughs> unique. But That's a, also the same. If you're in your Excuse 20s, me. you understand that, Joe. Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. 
It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. If only it were that simple today. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Lots of wagon work in this, in the epilogue, man. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. <laughs> Cash is cash. So it was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well... Nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking. These dudes are weird. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other. This dude's going to die, like, immediately. Okay, now back to what you were saying. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. <laughs> Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's nose tools. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils is a uh, an aquatic. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any, mate? Uh, okay. <laughs> this dude's goofy. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. <laughs> this dude's funny. 
So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. I love him. I would die for him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs. Chalker. Everyone find some cover! How are you not dead? Dang, bro, it's like a horror game right here. Yep. I suck. Murphy bloods were annoying. Gavin, you okay? yes. Way more annoying than the those. Last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Help me! It was Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith. What are we doing? Oh. Uh, I bet. Auto aim really messes, makes me mad sometimes. I'm up in the trees. Oh my goodness. What? These dudes are ass. I don't even care. I don't even care. Oh! Oh my God! You wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, 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 wait. I I have made a massive mistake. I made a massive mistake. I made a massive mistake. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 That sucks. Dear Lord, no. All right. 
Let's get out of here. Come on, help me. Well, that sucks. Can I have my hat back though? Oh, guess not. Okay. Oh my lord. What they do to him? Uh, killed him? What do you mean? <laughs> What did they do to him? What are you talking about, brother? Do you see his face? Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! He's gonna be dead. You useless Damn it. I was hoping he would. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. A beard goes crazy. We leave in the beard. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. can it be <laughs> but i'll tell you what i think just to be safe i'll do the reading and planning and you do the building how did i know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work oh, now that is plain unfair it, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen i'm simply going to use what i've got which is a brain while you use what you've got which is less of a brain <laughs> let's get started well first thing it says the foundation which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy. Slim, I appreciate I it, man. Moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very. Gregory, annoying. too. <laughs> He's right. That might be it, actually. It might not be Roberto. Gregory, too. That's a long nail, brother. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Vibes! Vibes! Nail, now nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather. 
we're together. Vibes, dude. Looking yoked, John. think while John's doing this, Abigail is taking it from the back. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Intrusive thoughts won the day, guys. Does he even know she still like wants him like that? And like, I think that's he ain't talked to her in like two years. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Build a freaking paradise, dude. Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and... <laughs> While I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please. Come back to me. Yours always, John. Beard's already grown out like that, though. Gonna leave the front door open? Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? A gold, thank God.
Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John <laughs> Marston? What? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. <laughs> this is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. <laughs> what do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Do you believe in reincarnation? Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Just wait right there. Oops. My bad. I'll fix that later. Can you get out of my way? Fine morning, partner. Glad you join me, John. Down, wow, 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 wow. How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? He don't even remember. We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, that one. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Bow, wow, 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 That song is going to be oh, stuck in my head for the rest of my life. Tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. 
split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Shady. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin? Hey, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans? Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Nice. It's all that coming. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. I'm sure on, no trouble will follow. Let's go foot ride. We're going to Rhodes. My hope my hat back. Rhodes. It's different there now. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Sueberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. That isn't any bone. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Sadie's so bad. I don't care. We'll cross up here. That's it. 300 for her head. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> oh, bad news coming. Thomas, Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boy. It always ends like this, man. Oh, 
Why does it seem like this revolver got worse? Is it because it's dirty? It probably is dirty. I should probably get covered, right? Let me get my corned beef in real quick. Hold on. Four shots? Crazy. Get my Lancaster back. You can't make it up, man. As a distraction. Come out. Jail. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. You're a good filly. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take it. $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. This is a long mission. Here it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Easy. Let's go up. Something bad's about to happen. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can <laughs> She take. better not die, dude. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
Where is she? I don't know where the... Okay. Oh God. I did not expect that big of a fall. <laughs> God, dude. Did not mean to do that. Jeez. Push up. Get down. On the ridge. Stay with me. So many. I need to coin this so bad. <laughs> Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. He's gonna get ate by a gator or something. I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Shut your gut oh. mouth. My god, dude. They keep coming, all right. Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Anyway, you carry on. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, <laughs> Mrs. Adler. Okay, let's go. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're a dead woman. Doubt. You're Hashtag a doubt. But the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. you. Anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, hey, you want money? Hey, take my money. My God, come on! Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Ew. Well, I hope they know just Pause. where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fight 
Why do I always have to pick him up Here off the horse? Back again. Like <laughs> Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I see you again. I see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Jesus, that was like the longest mission ever. Wait, is a barn now? Oh, so we got the barn. Okay. All right. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our forte. Something bad is about to happen. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the Something bad cheers. is definitely As about to happen. As loud as when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts Assassin's Creed wives. Black Flag vibes. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it, and let us marry me. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine! Let me sleep. Get out here now! I knew it. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. Oh, no. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. Uncle better not die, bro. They know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go. Yo, save Uncle. Yeah. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about him. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. We can't leave this waiting. That's thick. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. 
They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. Y'all like the chair more than me or something? John, look, we should agree on something. I get it. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can, but it may be we have to decide, okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Oh, man. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. I don't like the vibe I'm getting here. Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. The hell, John? They're down. What do you mean, what the hell, John? Bro, you just missed. What are we saying right now? They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Are we killing? Let him go. Can't just let them go, Charles. Uh, I'm gonna let him go. Hold it. Easy. Easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Patrol's taken care of. And we're looking for something. Us, most likely. Come on. Let's find where they're holding him. Oof. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. He goes into camp. They'll all be looking this way. Okay. Let's go. Yep. I think I see something. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. Oh, hang in there, old man. What is that? Oh, that's just a... Okay, okay. That's I uncle. Much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. We see, are binoculars necessary right here? Don't get too close. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Uh, Charles. Uh, 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 behind you. Surprise is over. We're here for you. All of you. Yep. Where was the other one? Oh, that's crazy, right? John, get down here. Come on. That freaking timing. He would walk behind that as soon as I pulled the trigger. Oh, that, you know, that hurts. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get uncle. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. Oh, he's so red. Okay, those bastards. They got him. Ah. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Come on. Here we go. Ready? Why do you have your lasso out? Oh. So nervous. Oh my god, dude, these dudes are so scary. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Just go. My God. His back is so messed up. We're out. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard, old man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Birds don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. I can't, I can't hit my back. Oh, don't let me fall, please. But you know how bad that probably hurts. I don't feel good. Over here. On 
almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. His butt you're cheeks fine. hanging out. <laughs> easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. That's what I'm trying to see. I need Abby to come back. Yuck. Flim, I got you in a minute, baby. Hold on. I... You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! <gasps> feels. Feels! So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm sorry. I you thought look I... well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money, my husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? 
Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry. Damn, dude. That's kind of cold, really, John. I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money. How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. He's got to die. Bring him back to me. Micah got to yeah, die. Of course. That ain't over yet. Follow me. <laughs> We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was it was Arthur. Oh. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail, or it, asking her at least. Oh my! I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's. Something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, n not really. Being married, it made me real happy. It's crazy. Sadie has to have the craziest character development of everybody in this game, right? Like how much she's changed since the beginning, it's insane. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. So we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> Let me get that apple, though. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If you ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Come on. They ain't here. Hold on. Gregory, too, needs some, some loving. Say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay. 
Okay, I think I got it. Follow me. There's a cabin up here. Definitely gonna be a bear. Whoa. What's that? My God. Crap. Ugh, well, I ain't pretty. Oh boy. That our fella? Maybe. Oh God. <laughs> Looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Two shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why is it always got to come for me, bro? Oh, my goodness. He ugly. What you want me to do? He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. He looks like that dude from uh, that animated movie, the Disney movie, Atlantis. Here. <laughs> Call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just, we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses and shine. Who's this up here? Is that, are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road. Look, I got great respect for you professionally. But if that's Marshal Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. An Let's idiot. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I 
I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are. Let's get him. So we gonna kill Micah, huh? Okay, get you. Easy. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. Let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You want to go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. Do like eating, though, right? Because we got to find some food. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Okay. Boy, soft sir. boy. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So, you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I... I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And... It'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Pretty country. Where did he even get this, his, uh... I guess. Pers personality from Grass and the light. he grew up around outlaws how did he end up like this sure as hell is a lot of beauty yes you'll see it better when you get older it's tough at your age just land and light but to me it's 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 life I, I can't explain it Okay. What are you gonna... This is a real good fishing spot. Folk always say that, and hours later they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the Arthur authority <laughs> on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Uncle Hosea, um. he was a fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? Huh, yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. 
I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's, he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. I've fished in so long, I forgot how to do it in here. I got him. <laughs> Look at this guy. I got. What do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't. I feel. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers and a couple of men showed up dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's going to show up here. Thank the Lord. I could do this for hours, I think. Literally. Where's Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I don't know. I got another one of them little things. I'll go find him. Rufus! Come on, boy! Whatever. Come help you look. Definitely something bad happened. Dog's dead. Rufus. 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 Well, this ain't like him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? Dog's dead, boy. Got ate by a hawk. True story. I had a dog that got ate by a hawk when I was little. It scarred me for life. Come on! Snake! I knew it. Rufus! Rufus, no! It's a snake. I see. He bit him. Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down, too. Come here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, Pa? Keep going. Dad, Rufus, no. Ew. Hey, that does not look right, bro. It looks like he's doing something entirely different. Are you sucking? I'm sorry. It's not funny. Well, spit it out. He's going to die. Calm down, boy! Okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Abigail! Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes you just don't know how things are going to turn out. But but the dog the dog's going to be fine. It's okay, son. Did the dog die? The dog's name, the horse's name is Rachel. It's Gregory too. I don't care. Hey! Rufus! Good boy, Rufus. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. <laughs> Why you let him stay? 
He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. Oh, that's all dude. Getty's boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your Ma and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. The old swingers, the Gettys. Well, that's about everything. Send your pa my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life and me and my family. Bye, sir. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so cool. The epilogue's so sure. chill, dude. But there's still some more things that we need to get. How about we take a ride into town? It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since, since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch, this life. I mean, it's I kind of nice. did all of that, but okay. I hope it'll only get nicer. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. We've worked so hard. What are you talking about? What were you doing the entire time? I was building the place. What are you... <laughs> and now to Blackwater. I still miss Arthur, man. Is there anything you want to do? You said there were some things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. Oh. I ain't had a drink and... Well... Okay. I left those things behind me. No, I mean... Good. Wholesome fun. Like, uh... Decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. Decent folk. Not, I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters. Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them. My bad, bro. Any <laughs> luck, Jack and Charles. Hit and run, hit and run. <laughs> don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay, then. Portrait. Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm going to head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You want to come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. What you looking at? Oh, man. Arthur? All right. Let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Today it does. She better not die, bro. If her and Jack die, because I don't know about Red Dead 1 at all. I don't know if, like, they're there or what. <laughs> Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just 
It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Pro well, that was awkward. Hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls. Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take a take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else the guy. God, this is slow. Okay, whatever. Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. Thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Gunslinger. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. Abigail, I have killed 894 people in my lifetime. Shut up. You better watch no, your mouth. You're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> What do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> so wholesome. What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. <laughs> okay. Phase four is kind of whack, though. Well, let's go. Thank you. Sorry. It's, it's it was right there. Can I, like, make a move? Yeah, dude. I'm not sitting through that. Well, we've seen it. Soon. All right, <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. I'll be burning to the ground right now. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? I propose. Sure. Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. No, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. <laughs> Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. Joke's on you. I can't swim at all. Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, 
I mean, proper. In front of God. <laughs> oh, God. Are you serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. Are you serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never, I didn't know what mattered to you. It didn't, but now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> You just know they smell crazy, though. Like, <laughs> sorry, ruined the moment. That was a very sweet mission. I was about to say that too, Fred. Me, you, and John, and Uncle, and Charles. It's like Full House, Cowboy Full House. can't get over the onesie, dude. The onesie always throws me off. I'm going to get pajamas. I bet them pajamas are so comfortable, bro. Cowboy! Cause I'm a cowboy On a steel horse I ride Tragedy is about to strike I can feel it Came all the way out here just to run all the way back. Took up his I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? <laughs> what's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. You cook. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. Uh-oh. Here she goes. Hey, John. Abigail. Sadie. Charles. I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Micah. But I gotta go now. You coming? No. He's not coming. I will. That's your business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. No, I'm... <sighs> I'm begging you. No! You'd risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? All this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, and all the folks that fell. If I let him go, this place ain't no more real than... than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you to understand. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... <laughs> I ain't got no other choice. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please! <laughs> Why is she making... I just don't understand. Like... Let's go kill this son of a bitch then. Sam, what's up, dude? Come on. Let's like, why are you making such a big deal down. about it, you know? He killed... He basically killed Arthur. Basically. Well, not really, Which but boys is Which one was he's the reason uh, everybody was dying. With the rat face. My memory 
Pretty much most of the deaths of the gang are Micah's fault. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. You're damn right he will. We owe this to Arthur. You think Arthur cared about revenge? I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah. And that's what we're doing. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Hell. Nowadays, I'm almost always killing old friends. Old friends and new. Ain't that right, John? Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? My last assistant <laughs> was put out to pasture. <laughs> no, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out. Charles is gonna die. Go north. Canada. Find a woman. Start a family if I can. Charles is definitely gonna die. Okay. This is it. We leave our horses by the bridge, then we find it. Lock in, Rob. Okay. Let's go. Let's go kill Micah. Can you try to like speed up a little bit? Ah. Uh. Fleet, am I missing something? Who is Cleet? Am I missing? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Where's Micah? Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen you. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Let's hang the bastard. Boy, good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. Bring him up to the gallows. So satisfying. Don't dig your heels in. Keep moving. Move. Listen to me. Climb. Hold on. No, you heard no, the lady. I could definitely kill him, could I? Come in, you bastard. Move it. Come on, move. Here, I want you stood right here. All right, string the no good murdering bastard up. You're about to publicly execute a man? Where's Mike? No, 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 no. Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk. Or I'll pull this lever. Talk. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. He's up in the mountains. I think he's, he's up in Mount Hagen. We got a whole gang now. Bad man. Doing bad things. I, I tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Honest. Please, I'm... I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. No. No. He's done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. Someone just. A little rat said mount. Hey. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Bro, I three pulled the lady went. Well done. Karen just dropped her kids off at daycare to come watch a public execution. Well done. Oh my god. Come on, lady. It's a long ride. Let's finish. Let's this. finish this. We're coming for you. Yeah. I kind of wanted to just shoot him to begin with, but...
ready? I don't have no this warm clothes on. Up into the high okay, Let's get me away. some. There's an old Plot armor. Up there they might be using for a camp. Charles is dead. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. I will be. Go on. Okay, now nah, he's good. Go on now. Move fast. I look him down that hill and kill us all. Come on, John. I don't want to leave him. Hey. Hold on. Let me burn one real quick. No. I will be fine. I'll follow you up. I just... I just can't... <sighs> Come on, John. Shit. Crazy, dude. What a shot. Always are. In the snow, brother? It's a camp here. It's not big enough. Locker rides with 10, 20 guys. Keep climbing till we find that power car on top of the map. Okay. Lock up, bail. Where is it? Oh, damn. Yeah, I ain't wearing nothing but Arthur's, buddy. Hate to tell you. In a uterus. You're bleeding pretty bad. Hey, nothing. You should sit down. I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just sit. It's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just need to rest. Uh, they're both gonna die. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be up Look there who it is. in a minute. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? Well, I got. I'm gonna take her up, sure. 
just you left, is it? Hold on, can I get my hat back then? Yep, I got y'all. Y'all are good. I'll carry. I'll IGL. Okay, wait, I'm not, I'm, I don't even have my gun out. I don't even have my gun out. Wait, I didn't mean to smoke my cigarette. Oops. Yeah, over here burning one in the mid mid battle. All right, now I'm ready. came behind me like that? Yep. Where's the other one? Ah. Uh. Run, just run. No! Wrong way, John! Alright, we're good. We're good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Pug with the 50 goodbye, Sadie and Charles. Stop it. Where's the other one? All right. Wait, what are you doing, John? Where's the other one? Another health cure. All right. Where's the other ones? Oh, down here. He's definitely in there. The music. Here we go. me not much been a few years <laughs> how's that uh mm, whore of yours she's good <laughs> didn't reckon i should waste my time killing you <sighs> but i felt different so it seems well maybe after all this is over i'll go pay her a call Hmm? And the boy. 
Whatever you say. Why wow, you really suck, Micah, if you didn't uh I got more men coming, John. You should run away. I look forward my Lancaster. Oh my god! Oh, is this like a boss? <laughs> what? Oh, I have nothing, dude. That's not good at all. I have to actually rely on aim? I got all the money for black water. Most of it anyway. Ah! Oh, I have to actually like rely on my aim, huh? Come take a look. Yeah. Come on now, Micah. At least tell like a man. <laughs> Hellfire. Just pull the trigger. It's just like old times. <laughs> Come on. You turn around and start walking. Oh, brother. Ashley, thank you for joining. W. Ashley in the chat. Joining the Rob Mob. Ashley, I appreciate it. Paying social calls. Oh. You bitch! Hello, you bitch! You bitch! Mrs. Adler? No! It's been quite a while. You are a coward! You. Y'all were in there doing, doing, doing broke back mountain stuff, weren't you? Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing? I just wanted to do it one time. Same as you, I suppose. Dutch and I are teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. You started. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. What do I do? Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Hold on, guys. Put down your gun, master. Dude, what do you want me to? Sorry, my chat got messed up. What am I supposed to do? Am I better supposed to let him talk? Dutch and I are teaming now we gotta up read more. through it <laughs> we got money we got dreams <laughs> join us John join us let her go now I can't do that John I uh, just wait okay 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 sorry I just want to kill both of them so bad Dutch come on now <laughs> you shot at me son you started it. You started it. You betrayed me. I could say the same as you. I was trying to do my best. You, you just cared for yourself. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. 
Let her go! She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Arthur's been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. Dutch, killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, master. Say something, Dutch. Say something. I ain't got too much to say no more. I knew it. I knew it. He shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Yes! Satisfying. Satisfying. What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh. I don't like him. You okay? Fine. You're crazy. I hope so. Help me up. Uh. Let's go get Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. Oh, Talking about John and Abby's. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> She's about to die. <laughs> I was here in the chat. Let's go. I was here. Jack, uncle, come out here. Such a satisfying death of an antagonist. That was awesome. Rare you actually get that. Where's Charles? It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> Vibes. And Charles is alive. I'm going to where the sun burns in the heat stays in come and come away by my side. <laughs> Bro, I can't. What at the end? Oh, dude. I'm not ready to say it yet. I need to let it settle. I never like saying a game is like such and such like top 10 or my favorite game of all time or anything. I don't like saying that until I let it settle. Like Elden Ring is in my top 10 now, but I had to let it settle for a couple months before I could make that claim. Same thing here. I gotta let it settle. I gotta, I wouldn't, I, I can say with utmost certainty, almost 100% that uh, it'll be in my top 10, but where in my top 10, I need to let it, let it sit for a little while.